Hi, this is Trey Pastor, and welcome to the Horoscope 101 channel. And this week is Horror Made Them Famous week. And the uh, person that I'm picking for my uh, Horror Made Them Famous week is uh, Lon Chaney Jr. Okay, um, for those who don't know him, <laughs> uh, uh, he, of course, was uh, most, the most famous role that he played was uh, uh, Lon Stewart Talbot, <laughs> uh, a.k.a. Larry the Wolfman. Uh, 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 he was actually born Creighton uh, Cheney Jr., and he was the son of uh, horror icon Lon Cheney, who was a silent film star who played Phantom of the Opera. Uh, you know, he was the infamous, for, and also infamous as being the man of a thousand faces. Okay, and his father didn't want him actually to become an actor. He actually wanted him to go to school, which he did, and had a, actually graduated and had a degree. And But upon the death of his father, he... Uh, really went in, he went all in uh, to acting and stuff, and his most famous role up to that point was uh, of Lenny in Mice of Men. He played it on the Broadway, on Broadway, and he also played it in the movies, and, which is, and Lenny is a great character part, the slow-witted, you know, uh, farmhand. Anyway, after that, he, uh, it was a part in Man-Made Monster for Universal that first kind of gave him his real first uh, monster role, and, and that led to 1941's The Wolfman, okay, and his most famous role, uh, the role I think that made him a horror icon, uh, Lawrence Stewart Talbot, a man who came home to reconcile with his father upon the death of his brother, and of course meets a young girl, and on a night when he's out with her, uh, co while coming to the, na to the aid of a, of a friend, he gets bitten by a wolf and gets cursed, okay, and Lon Chaney Jr. played this part to perfection. Uh, you felt such sympathy for his character. You know, a man who, trying to do the right thing, gets cursed and becomes a beast, a monster, and he hates what he is. And, he, you know, he's basically trying to, um, you know, at first he's disbelieving of it, and then when this happens, he's at its wit's end, and he wants to, he basically wants, wants it to end. And it's just a great portrayal of a, a, of a tortured man, and a, a, the tragic hero. It's like a Greek tragedy. A man trying to come home and reconcile him with his father, and then this tragedy befalls him, and it's, it's just a great part. And that part, to me, made him, you know, famous. Uh, okay, because it, he went on to play uh, uh, the Wolfman in House of Frankenstein, uh, House of Dracula, Frankenstein. Uh, excuse me, um, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, and Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, and that part was such an iconic role. Okay, and he was the only actor, I think, to play that character, uh, you know, the same character in those, uh, see, The Wolfman, uh, House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, uh, Frankenstein meets The Wolfman, and Alan Costello five times. And he also played um, uh, uh, Count Alucard, uh, which is Dracula spelled backwards, a vampire. And he also played uh, The Mummy, okay, so it was a... And he also played, played the Frankenstein monster in Ghost of Frankenstein. He was the first actor after uh, Boris Karloff to play uh, the Frankenstein monster. Okay, so he's the only actor to ever play uh, Frankenstein's monster, the mummy, the wolfman, and Dracula. Okay, and it's because of his portrayal of, of the sympathetic Lawrence Talbot, which, which made him a horror icon and made him famous. And like I said, he also, because uh, he was a talented character actor, he also appeared in High Noon. He also uh, played a part in The Defiant Ones, and after the event of TV, when Universal started to sell their whole horror catalog back to TV, when TV became popular, that's how he became even more popular with the, you know with the younger people, with the younger generation. And he did a lot of TV work as well. Okay, but horror is what made him famous, and for his great portrayal, of, especially specifically, The Wolfman launched The Forever Cursed. Uh, the Lawrence Stewart Talbot, okay, which made him an icon, uh, made him a horror icon, and one of my absolute favorite actors, horror, especially horror actors. Okay, I love the Universal Horror Monsters, but The Wolfman, just because of Lawrence Chaney Jr.'s performance, is my favorite. Favorite. He makes you feel so much for his character, and you're always hoping that somehow he, he find a cure or find a way to end his torment. And because of that, he's just one of my favorite, absolute favorite. Okay, now later in life, he, you know, he had cancer and developed a drinking problem. And, you know, and that's what he 
that's what he died of, but he will forever be known to me as just one of the great act, great actors and a, a, a horror icon, in my opinion, because his, his, his portrayal of these characters makes you feel so much for them, and he gave it his all. Okay, so definitely uh, let me know what you think of uh, uh, Lon Chaney Jr. as uh, my pick for Horror Famous. Feel free to leave comments down below, and this is Trey Passer saying so long and take care.